Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Security Before here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War Bafta build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the USS Oklahoma City CLG-5 Galveston Clash Guided Missile Cruiser. The USS Oklahoma City was one of the 27 United States Navy Cleveland class light cruisers completed during uh, or shortly after World War II, and one of six to be converted to guided missile destroyers. She was the first US Navy ship to be named for Oklahoma City, Oklahoma commissioning in the late 1944. She participated in the later part of the Pacific War in anti-aircraft screening and shore bombardment roles, for which she earned two battle stars. She then served a brief stint with the Occupation Force, like all but one of her sister ships who was retired in post-war defensive cutbacks, becoming part of the Pacific Reserve Fleet in 1947. In the late 1950s, she was converted to a Galveston-class guided missile cruiser, which is the version that you can see here in front of you, uh, which involved removing all of her guns except for a forward 6-inch 152mm turret and a 5-inch 127mm mount, and rebuilding her entire superstructure to accommodate the Talos missile system and flagship office bases and accommodations. Like uh, her three sister ships, Providence, Little Rock, and Springfield, of the Cleveland class ships converted to missile ships, she was also extensively modified for it to become a flagship. Uh, the ship itself uh, basically was one of the first really U.S. Navy ships to receive um, a uh, upgrade, or basically have uh, you know a full designation of being a guided missile um, cruiser. And a uh, very inter interesting ship, um, I didn't really know much about this class or anything really, and I'm actually really surprised it's basically taking an old Cleveland class from World War II and converting it into um, a kind of more modern um, ship, and you know, it just shows you the capability and stuff of these ships and all that stuff, World War II era, but still um, fighting the war all the way up into the late 1970s when it was um, struck from the Naval Reserve. Um, so yeah, really cool stuff, um, really cool ship, and before we go and dive in and take a look at it, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Derek Frost Rushbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pl pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing. Um, if you uh, want to, feel free to check it out. If not, no worries, um, but it's um, you know, a cool way to help me out as a creator and also um, earn a vehicle request of your choice, so feel free to check that out again down in the comments or down in the description below there's a link to it um anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the uh o uss oklahoma city clg5 um galveston class light cruiser so it's been a while since we've done a cold war or kind of like a modern um you know ship uh which is pretty cool so you know nice to get back into them and um have a cool ship that probably not really well known by you guys but i think is a really interesting ship um nonetheless so starting off with we have obviously the forward bow here um, like uh, I mentioned before, it did keep one turret up here in the front and also a um, smaller secondary turret up there. So, you know, still kind of giving it some, you know, capabilities, um, you know, with, you know, standardized guns rather than, you know, having the uh, missiles as the only armament. Up here we have the conning tower, the bridge, um, all that stuff. Um, nothing real crazy about that. Uh, we have the first mast right here. So pretty kind of complicated radar systems and stuff like that, obviously, for... Guided missiles are going to have a pretty good extensive, um, you know, pretty good extensive uh, radar system and all that stuff. Um, we got two smokestacks back here, kind of a uh, open space and all that right here, some lifeboats and all that located in this section. As we work our way back, we have a secondary mass here, again, more um, radar and, you know, different uh, communications and stuff like that going on there. And then back here we have uh, kind of, uh, again, in there a little smaller um, mass or superstructure bit. With uh, some different uh, radar systems, I believe these are probably for targeting and stuff for the missiles. We have a missile launcher back here, and um, a landing pad back here, obviously for helicopters and stuff like that. Um, so overall, it's a really cool ship. Um, I do like the way it came out. I think it's you know really nice, really uh, nice and sleek, and uh, nice to kind of get a Cold War um, esque uh, ship into our um, lineup of BAFTA builds. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer number one. Now for layer one, uh, we're going to be going ahead and building this half on, half off. If you're completely new to my tutorials, what this means is I'll be building half of the layer on camera, and then I'll be going ahead and letting you guys copy the air side over since the air... The uh, ship is completely symmetrical on both sides, whatever we do on one side, we're going to be doing to the other. It'll be a little bit more clear once we get into some of the later layers. Um, what I'm talking about is layers like 
two and three. Um, from, and then from that point, we're going to go ahead and build everything all together for the superstructure and all that stuff. Just makes the hole going a little bit faster, and it's completely the same on both sides. So there's not much real point and not a whole lot of detail going on. So it's just easier this way. Um, also, if you're building this in the water, which I imagine most of you guys are, you're going to want to make sure that you have this position correctly in the water. So these brick top slabs here are going to be one block underwater. This row of three of blue wool here representing the water and the water surface right here. So as you can see, we want this uh, basically, um, you know, depth below the water. Uh, basically only one block here and it's going to be brick top slabs like this going back. Um, so make sure that that is correct, um, obviously, because it can definitely mess up your build if it is not. So once that's done, we have our water sorted out and we have a good start. We're going to go ahead and place down the brick top slab and remember the correct depth underwater um, to have it. This long row of brick top slabs is going to go all the way back to the stern here, being a row of 30 brick top slabs in total. And this right here is going to be the very center line of the ship from this point here. And once we have that done, uh, we can go and grab ourselves some placeholder blocks, and we're going to go and basically build off this row of 30, 1, 2, and 3 blocks, and then place down a narrow brick top slab. We can then delete these 3 blocks as we do not need them, and we have a space of 3 here between this one brick top slab and this row of 30 for the center line of the ship. Once that's done, we're going to go back up to the front, and we'll go ahead and work our way um, back again. So for this, we're going to go and place down a iron trap door that's going to be coming off of the sixth brick top slab back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six right here. We're then going to take our brick top slabs, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Uh, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three brick top slabs back like that. We're then going to take end rods. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we're going to go back one, two, and three end rods back like this, followed by a birch top slab. Now, if you are placing this underwater, um, the end rods can't go underwater, so you can go and replace that with fence gates. Um, those will work fine as well. Uh, once that's done, uh, we have uh, our row here done. We're going to go to the side of this row. We're going to go and count back one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to go back to our fifth brick top slab, place down our iron trap door to the side. And a second iron trap door back. We're then, take our, we're then going to take our brick top slabs, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 uh, brick top slabs back like that. We're going to go ahead and skip a space of 2, place down another brick top slab, followed by an uh, end rod like this, and then we want to go ahead and then place down um, a birchwood top slab coming off that end rod. And make sure it's a top slab like that. Uh, then coming off this brick top side, going ahead and connecting between these two, we're going to place down two end rods like this, and you'll have the propeller shafts here, and your propellers here on the back, so it looks something like this on the rear, and uh, here's what it looks like overall. What we do over here on the right side of the ship, you're going to be going ahead and taking that and copying over to the left side, so from up above, you should have something that looks just like this for the basis of the ship. Once that's all complete, that is going to complete layer number one. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. Layer two, uh, we're gonna be going ahead and continuing work on the hole that's underwater. Um, so yeah, to go ahead and get started, uh, again, this layer here will be in line here with the water and we should have a tiny bit of the red uh, block sticking out from the water. Uh, you, should have to, you should be able to see the top of the block here above water. Um, if not, you're gonna have to go and reevaluate um, the height and all that stuff, but that's how you should have it. Anyways, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a red concrete block on top of this brick top slab, and we're going to go ahead and have a long row of red concrete going back. This row in total is going to be 32 blocks long, so from this block right here, all the way back, we're going to have a long row of 32, and it should hang out two past this brick top slab here, uh, like this going toward the back. We then want to place down a brick top slab coming off this red concrete block, a red concrete block on top of this brick top slab, and then an iron trap door like this coming off that red concrete block like that to finish off the, the uh, stern of the ship here. We're going to go ahead and go back up to the front and work our way out to the, the sides. Uh, for this, we're going to go to the third red concrete block back, place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a brick upside down stair coming off of it. Going back from that brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 uh, red concrete blocks back. We then want to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a brick upside down corner stair, and then we're going to place down one and two brick top slabs back and then an iron trap door like that on the end. Uh, with that done, we're going to go back up to our uh, bow of the ship, go to our side row that came out here, and we're going to count one, two, and three back to our third red concrete block. Coming off this, we're going to go and place down a brick top side to the side, followed by a brick upside down stair and a brick upside down corner stair. 
Come off the corner stair, we're going to go ahead and place down your row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Red concrete blocks back. A brick upside down stair. Upside down stair coming off this, so you have a corner stair. Regular upside down stair, and then two brick top sides back, followed by two iron trap doors. Once you have that done, uh, looking at it from above, we should have something that looks just like this. Filled in, and this all should be above the water surface, so you should be able to clearly see this um, above the surface of the water. And once you have that all complete, and uh, this right side transferred over to the left side, you'll have layer two complete. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We'll be going ahead and moving into layer number three. Layer three is the last layer. We'll be going ahead and doing half on, half off before we go ahead and start getting into the superstructure, which we'll basically start doing all together. Anyways, for us to go ahead and start off with this layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with a bow of our ship. We're going to place down a stone block on top of this red concrete block, followed by one and two more stone blocks back to so the row three in the front here. We're then going to go ahead and switch to gray wool, and we're going to have a long row of gray wool going all the way back to this iron trap door in the back, making this a row of 32 from this stone block up here, all the way back here to this iron trap door. Coming off this uh, this uh, gray wool block, we're going to place down a brick, stone brick upside down stair. Once that's done, we're going to go back up to the front of the ship, and we're going to start working our way out to the sides. Now, you'll notice over here I have cobblestone walls. This was before I updated the world to 1.14, so I now have the stone brick walls. I'm going to go and switch them out over to stone brick walls. If you want to use cobblestone, you can, but stone brick definitely looks better and blends better with the ship. So that's what I'm going to be going ahead and doing. So I'm going to go ahead and take some stone brick walls. I'm going to go ahead and go to the third stone block here, place down a stone brick wall to the side, and then one more back. From this point here, we're going to go and take stone, go back one, two, and three stone blocks, and then we're going to switch back to gray wool and place down a long row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 gray wool blocks back, followed by a stone block here on the end, and then a stone brick upside down corner stair here on both sides. Uh, once that's done there, I'm going to go and double check the count here of the gray wool real quick, and again, 27 blocks, so we're good to go. Uh, anyways, going ahead and going back up to the bow of the ship, we're going to go to this stone block here, go out to the side of a brick, stone brick wall, and then back one and two, back like this, save a row of three here. We then want to take our stone blocks, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four stone blocks back, and then one and two stone brick walls here on the end. Uh, we also want to go ahead and start counting from the back here forward. We're going to go ahead and count our stone blocks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to go to our seventh and eighth block from the back, and we're going to place down two iron bars just like that on the sides there. And once that's all complete, that is going to finish off layer number um, three. And uh, here's a little bit of an aerial view for it. And of course, what we did over here on the right side, go ahead and put that over to the left side. Anyways, with that all done, that's going to complete layer three. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We'll be going ahead and beginning with layer four. So for layer four, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block on top of this one right here, followed by a stone brick upside down stair coming off of it, or sorry, stone brick wall coming off of it forward. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a second stone brick block back, followed by a stone brick stair, and then two stone brick slabs back. Out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of this first stone block up here in the front. And then going back from that, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, again, on both sides of the second stone block. With that done, we're going to take skeleton skulls and place down one, oops, my bad, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three skeleton skulls to the side here, same thing over here, one, two, and three, just like that, going back down the sides. With that done, we're going to place down a stone block here on this gray uh, wool block, and then we want to go ahead and take our uh, end rods, and we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod coming off the stone block. To both sides of the stone block, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick wall and coming off those walls we're going to place down end rods there again on both sides going ahead and going off the stone block we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair a skeleton skull to both sides and we then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks and place down a row of three across from this point here we're going to place down a second row of three a third row a fourth row a fifth row and a sixth row of stone blocks going back like so so you basically have a six by three rectangle here after this front forward gun uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to the sides here, and on the second and third stone brick, er, stone brick walls here, we're going to place down two light gray carpet or two gray carpets on top of them. Sorry, and we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate and place down a dark oak wood fence gate. Uh, come off the second row of three here of um, stone blocks on both sides. 
When that's done there, we're going to take gray carpet, go back one, two, three, and four along the sides, and same thing over here, one, two, three, and four, like that. With that finished, we're going to place down a stone block here in the middle, and we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater, and we're going to place down a redstone repeater in this space right here to both sides. From that point here, we're going to go and place down a stone brick upside down stair, come off the redstone repeater, and same thing over here on this side. Uh, with that done, we're going to then place down a stone brick uh, upside down stair here in the middle space, like so. And we're going to go and then grab ourselves a quartz slab. And we're going to place down a quartz slab here right next to these stone brick stairs at both sides. And then come off the quartz slab itself, we want to go and place down a oak wood sign, like so, on both sides. With that finished there, we're going to go and then place down a stone brick upside down stair right next to that quartz slab, and same thing over here, just like that. Uh, when that's done here, in the middle space, uh, we're just going to go ahead and place down a stone block. And we also want to go ahead and place down, a little difficult to see in there, uh, but it looks like we have uh, nothing really going on there, um, except for two iron trap doors are going to go in this space. So we're going to place down one and two iron trap doors, and the same thing over here, one and two, like that. Uh, when that's all finished there, we're going to place down a stone block here in the middle again, followed by a stone brick wall to both sides. We're going to go and do the same thing going one more back, so stone bl block, stone brick wall to both sides. We're going to go and then grab ourselves quartz slabs again. We're going to place down a row of one and two, and one and two of quartz slabs like that to both sides. Go ahead and continue now. We're going to take our stone blocks. We're going to do a row of three <coughs> across, and then a stone wall or stone brick wall to both sides. And uh, from this point here, we're going to go and then take gray wool, place down a row of three gray wool across, followed by again a stone brick wall to both sides. Now we're going to go and repeat this um, a couple more times. So we have uh, one, we have, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to go ahead and have five rows. So five rows of three here, the gray wool in the middle, and then we have our stone brick walls here to both sides. Now from this point here, we're going to go and then place down a stone brick wall on both sides and then a row of three of stone blocks across like that for the back here. Once that's all done, we're going to go back here into the middle section. We're going to go and place down an anvil on this gray block here. We're going to go and then grab ourselves um, some skeleton skulls and rods and also wooden signs on the front and back of the anvil. So this side here and this side, we're going to place down a wooden sign here on both sides, and then we want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to go ahead and place down an end rod that is running parallel here with the anvil, and then on both sides of the end rod, we're going to be placing down skeleton skulls like this for the missile system here on the back. When that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves gray wool, or uh, sorry, gray carpet, and we're going to place down one, two, and three gray carpet here, one, two, and three to both sides. Uh, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and grab white carpet, and we're going to do a row of five of white carpet across. We then want to go and do one, two, and three back, or sorry, one, two, three, four. So you have another row of five here, and then we're just going to take this across this point and across here. So you basically have a five by five square here of white carpet. Uh, in the middle space here, we're going to place down a uh, wool, white wool block here, and then we want to go and just grab ourselves some stone buttons and place down stone buttons around it like this for the landing pad. After that's done, we're going to take iron trap doors and go ahead and go off the first four white carpet here. Along the side here, we're going to go and place down iron trap doors here. Basically, it has like a little um, netting or side here that would uh, basically be able to catch the aircraft or crew that might fall over from the aircraft and all that stuff landing. And just like that on both sides there. Now, going ahead and coming on to the back, we're going to go and then place down a redstone comparator that's going to go and go on top of these two stone blocks. So, like this. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves end rods. We're going to place down end rod here, 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 and here. And in the middle space there, we just very simply want to go ahead and place down an air brick fence post here in the middle, just like that. After that's all finished, uh, this is what we should have for layer number four from up above. And you can uh, start to see the superstructure and the ship starting to come, no longer, come along. And um, yeah, that right there is going to complete this uh, layer, layer number four. Let's move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and begin with, we'll be going ahead and going to the front of the ship here and placing down a end rod here on top of this stone brick wall. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back from this, placing down a redstone repeater, like so. And then we want to place down another brick fence post on top of the stone block right there for the front there, and that'll complete the bow of the ship um, for right now. Once that's done, we're going to then place down a redstone repeater on top of this stone block, and we're going to go ahead and have the notches here flicked out to the sides. 
After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a dark ogre defense gate on top of the stone brick upside down stair. Have it opened up toward the back, and then we're going to have a stone brick stair here coming off of it like that for the secondary gun right here. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to place down a stone block right behind that stone brick stair. And we then want to go and grab our stone brick walls and place down a stone brick wall here to both sides. With that done, we're going to take our stone blocks, place down a row of three across of stone blocks, and then a stone brick stair uh, to both sides, just like this. Now, when we get to this point here, we're going to go and then take a light gray carpet, place it down on top of these dark gray fence gates here to both sides. And we also want to grab a gray carpet and place it down on top of those stone blocks here to both sides of the secondary gun. We then want to take item frames, and we're going to go and wrap them around this stone brick wall, and also this stone brick stair here, like so. And we're just going to go and wrap it around, just like that. Now at this point here, we're going to go and then place down black beds in the item frames, like this, to go ahead and make windows. And you can kind of see how I'm turning them to kind of uh, make them look the nicest, at least in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, you're just going to go and basically take this and twist the beds around until you get a nice configuration. It doesn't matter too much, but you're basically just creating the windows here that wrap around. And whatever you did to the other side, make sure it's symmetrical to uh, the other side. So we can see here, I'm trying to match the beds up so that they look the same. All the way across here. And I'm going to adjust these so that these all match. And just like that, we have our beds all matching all the way around. So, yeah, just like that for our windows right here. Now, from this point here, we're going to place down a row of two of stone blocks here in the middle. We're going to take stone brick stairs, place down a stone brick stair, and then a corner stair like this, and same thing over here, like so. After that's done, we're going to go and take our wooden signs, and we're going to place down one and two wooden signs on the side here, and one and two like that. From this point here, we're going to take our stone blocks, place down a row of three across the middle, stone block right here on top of this one, and then we get to um, this area in here. Now, for this area in here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on these two, two stone brick stairs here on both sides, and make sure it's completely at a nice 90 degree angle, so completely straight on facing. And also try to keep the faces of the skulls toward the inside of the ship, makes them a little bit uh, more difficult to see from the outside here. And we're also going to go ahead and place down end rods coming off of these, skeleton skulls going toward the middle there like that. Now in the middle, uh, in between these end rods on this iron trap door, we're going to place down a quartz slab. And then in this space right here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by a second stair right behind it to create a shape that looks like that. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block, followed by a second stone block, and then two stone brick walls to both sides. We then want to place down a row of three of stone blocks across, like this. From this point here, we're going to grab ourselves levers, place down a lever here on both sides, flicked in toward the stone blocks. And we also want to go and grab ourselves some gray carpet and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Gray carpet here on these stone brick walls. And same thing over here, just like that. Now when that's done, we're going to go back here to this stone block in the middle, place down a stone brick up down stair on top of it, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, row of one and two stone blocks going toward the front and then a stone brick uh, wall like this. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron trap door or uh, my bad that's going to be actually the next layer so yeah we're good with that on the back here. Uh, so we're going to go, and go to the very back go ahead and go to our antennas and stuff like this on the back. On top of the narrow brick fence post we're going to place down an end rod and on top of all these end rods we're going to place down one iron bar like so. So it's going to go all the way around here, just like that, and that's going to go ahead and wrap up your back there. And that right there will complete layer number five. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to begin with, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this one right up here in the front. So just like this, and then we're going to go to this uh, narrow brick wall, place down the iron bar up, and then an iron bar basically coming off of uh, this middle one here to both sides all the way around, like so. Once that's done, uh, going back here to the bridge, we're going to go and place down a stone brick wall on top of this stone block, and then a stone brick wall here. Uh, or sorry, my bad, it's going to be a stone block in the middle and a stone brick wall to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone block uh, right here, going back, and then another stone brick wall to both sides. And then coming off this stone brick wall, we're going to place down an iron trap door. Uh, again, coming off both sides here. Now once that's done, we're going to go and grab item frames again, and just like we did before, we're going to be going ahead and doing the windows here for the bridge. So we're just going to go and take item frames, wrap them around just like this, and we're going to go ahead and then grab our beds and basically go to town with these beds. So we're going to go and place down a bed right here in the middle, 
I'm going to go and choose to do it this direction here and then have them come off of it. So just like this to both directions and then over here like this again, have them facing the same direction like that. So they all kind of wrap around and they kind of go together and look nice um, all the way around. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go back, place down a stone block here in the middle. We're going to go and then place down an iron trap door to both sides and then come off this iron trap door. We're going to place down a wooden sign. So just like this on both sides. We then want to place down two stone blocks back, followed by two stone brick walls to both sides. On top of this stone block here, we're just going to place down an air stone block up like that. Go back to the stone block, an air stone brick block up like that, and then we're going to grab ourselves a stone brick stair, place down a stone brick stair after it, and then right behind the stone brick stair, a dark oak wood fence gate uh, basically opened toward the stair, and then an end rod to both sides of it. Going back here to this section, on top of this stone brick, or the stone brick wall, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Uh, we then want to place down a end rod here in the middle, and to both sides of the end rod, we're going to be placing down a um, iron trap door like this, with a wooden sign on this side, and this side as well. Same thing over here, just like that. Once that's all finished, coming off the end rod here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, with a skeleton skull to both sides of it. And then on top of this stair from the previous layer, we're going to place down a redstone repeater, just like that. And now right there, we'll do it for this section. Going back here, last thing we have to do on the back here is just place down a iron bar on top of this end rod like that for the back uh, radio antenna. And with that all done, that is going to complete layer number six. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. For layer seven to begin with, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this iron bar here in the middle, just like this for the front structure, and this is going to go ahead and complete the bow. Once that's done, we're going to go back here. We're going to place down an iron trap door on top of that stone block right there, followed by a skeleton skull coming off this iron trap door toward the front of the ship. We then want to place down an iron trap door on these two stone brick walls to both sides, and then on the sides here of these iron trap doors, we're going to go and take wooden signs and wrap them around like this for the top here. With that done, we're going to go and then place down an end rod on top of these two iron trap doors. Go ahead and go back in the middle space here. We're going to just place down a row of three of iron trap doors across in between the end rods. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick wall here, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of the stone brick wall. And then going back from the stone brick wall, we're going to go and place down a stone block, followed by a stone brick stair. Now, on both sides of the stone block and stone brick stair, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And we're going to take wooden signs and place down wooden signs here on the sides of them. And same thing over here on this side as well. So just like that. And then we're going to place down a stone block here in the middle again, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of that stone block. We're then going to place down a stone block here. Again, skeleton skull to both sides of it. And then going up from this uh, this uh, stair here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate up, have it flicked toward the back of the ship, and then on top of this fence gate here, a fence gate as well, and flicked in toward that to create something that looks like this. And then we just want to place down an end rod, or sorry, an iron bar on top of this end rod here on both sides like that. Once that's done, go ahead and go into this section here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate on top of the stair here. And we're going to have it opened up toward the front of the ship. And then we want to place down fence gates coming off of it all the way around like this. And these fence gates are going to be uh, basically flicked in to connect up to this one. So just like this, all the way around to kind of create a structure that looks something like that. Now when that's done, uh, we're going to go, and go to both sides of this fence gate up here in the front. And we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of it like that. Once that's done, on top of this end rod here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull as well. So, just like this. And we also want to place down a red star repeater on top of that upside down stair like that as well. And once that's all complete there, that is going to do it there for layer 7. And with that, we're going to go ahead and we'll move into our final layers here. So we have layers 8, 9, 10, 11... 12 and 13. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers, layers 8 through 13. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next uh, set of layers, or basically our final layers, we have layers 8 through 13. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and beginning with the front here and working our way toward the back. So we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this stone brick wall here. And then on top of this stone brick stair, we want to place down a skeleton skull. So pretty straightforward there. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak fence on top of this stone block followed by a narrow fence gate on top of this stone brick upside down stair. We're going to have them opened up toward each other, just like this. Going ahead and going up from this, we're going to place down another set of dark oak fence gates. Again, we're going to have them facing each other, like so. And then coming off the fence gates here, we're going to be placing down uh, skeleton skulls here, coming off of them like this to the side. Same thing over here, just like that. 
After that's done, going ahead and going up from these fence gates, we're going to do another set of fence gates. And again, have these opened up toward each other. Once that's done, we're going to take an iron trap door, and we're going to place down an iron trap door that's going to be coming off of this fence gate toward the front. Going ahead and going to the top here, we're going to go ahead and go on top of this this uh, set of fence gates, so the fence gates toward the back here. We're going to place down an iron bar on top of it, one out to the side, one forward, and same thing over here, one out to the side, one forward like that for the top of the mast. And we just want to go and take light gray carpet and place down one and two light gray carpet there for the top of the mast there. And that right there will do it for that. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab another brick stair, place it down on top of this stone block and on top of this one as well. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves iron bars and going on top of these skeleton skulls that are connected to the mast. We're going to go up one, two, and three iron bars up. Uh, just like this for the uh, more kind of like radio antennas and all that kind of stuff. Communications and all that. And this will be on this stack as well. So just like this. Going up. After that's done, uh, we want to go and then go to these dark oak defense gates. We're going to place down a defense gate on top of... Both these have them facing toward each other, like so. And we also want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull coming off this fence gate here toward the back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up one more set of dark oak fence gates. So we have another two, like this. They're going to be facing each other, like that. And then on top here, we're going to go ahead and place down a set of two narrow break ups downstairs. So we have uh, one upside down stair and a second stair coming off of it, like so. And on both sides of it, coming off these stairs, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Again, going ahead and continue to work our way up on top of this narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down a um, end rod. And then we want to place down a stone brick wall on top of this wither skeleton skull. Coming off the stone brick wall, going up, we're going to place down one and two end rods. We then want to place down a snow block on top of this um, end rod right here. And then lastly, on top of this narrow brick stair, we're going to place down a um, redstone repeater, just like that. And I'll complete the second mast here on the rear. With that done, we just have this section left to work on. We're going to place down a stone brick wall on the middle dark oak wood fence gate. And to both sides, we want to go ahead and place down a light gray carpet. So we have one and two to both sides. And then coming off this stone brick wall, we're going to place down a end rod like that toward the back. Also coming off the stone brick wall, we're going to place down a skeleton skull going off of it toward this section. And we then want to go ahead and just take a iron, or a iron bar. And on top of this skeleton skull here to the right, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Iron bars going up like that for another little radio antenna and all that. And once that's all complete, that is going to wrap up my tutorial for the USS Oklahoma CLG-5 uh, uh, Galveston class uh, missile guided missile uh, cruiser. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do have using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This is me thinking from the sun the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, that's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. And uh, as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Um, other than that, that's going to pretty much wrap up this tutorial. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And again, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Other than that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 before, and I'll see you guys next time.